Okay, and then Matthew 17, 20. So Jesus said to them, Because of your unbelief, for un assuredly I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. So Jesus said, you know, um, when you, it's because of your unbelief that you cannot drive out the demons. But when you have the faith as a mustard seed, even a small, small faith, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Now, it doesn't mean that we just go around and say, move mountain. I believe that this is uh, used in persecution, in a time of persecution of severe persecution the enemies are chasing after us and then we in Jesus name move the mountain to stop them move the trees to stop them and uh, move the sand to stop them that we can pray to God like that or uh, help us to walk on water so that we can run away from the enemy and so this you know this kind of miracles is not for ordinary use but it can also represent difficulties in difficulties we will say in Jesus' name, this difficulty will go away. First, I have the strength to, to face this difficulty, the strength to overcome this difficulty, and then one day this difficulty can go away and God can remove the difficulties anytime. Okay, now, um, so what's God's nature? God's nature, He is powerful. He can move mountains. He has the ability to move mountains. He, can, he has the ability to overcome any problem he can fix any problem and his grace now nature is his inner quality we want to talk about inner quality of God to people tell them God is such a kind person God always appreciate anything we do he has this heart of appreciation he has the, abil the ability to move in the hearts of people change their lives God can do all these things so uh, that is his nature and his grace he can give us faith he can give us faith so that we can move mountains it's not us who move the mountains it's God and God can give us faith that we can move the mountains it's the, the power comes from God and also God can give us the, the faith to believe that God has this power the faith to believe that God has this power and to exercise this for God's glory. And then whenever we exercise uh, His faith, then God is happy with us and He reward us. For instance, when we pray for someone who is sick, we, we pray in Jesus' name, we help the person to enjoy God. God, you're so wonderful, you're so nice, we enjoy you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, when we want blessings from God, the Bible says love, you know, that... Um, God is prepared for those who love Him. The things eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, and things the human mind cannot think of. So when we help people to love God, blessings will come to them. Instead of just keep saying, be healed, be healed, we don't have to keep saying that. Jesus said, do not think that you, you repeat words. You just repeat what you say in order to get what you want. Instead, we can just love God, praise God, seek his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be added to us so um so here we we just talk about uh, god's grace and then how can we have this faith is that we know that we believe that god can do great things and we remember how god has done great things in our life so we follow god and so we have faith in him okay uh the outline nature only god can move mountains so he has this nature, his power. And grace, our faith by itself cannot move mountains. We must understand that we cannot move the mountains. Faith is trusting in God. God accepts our faith and moves the mountain or any difficulty for us. So God can move the difficulties or any mountain for us. And why many Christians lack faith? Because they don't see God and they think that God's help will be too late. And so they don't believe that God can help them now the destructiveness of having no faith. When people have no faith, they always worry, they always doubt, and then they don't obey, and then they don't get the blessings of God. When we are trusting God, and then we see more miracles. When we pray for people, 
I've been, you know, in a mission field to 15 countries. I've seen many, I've seen many, many miracles. I pray for many people to experience the Holy Spirit. I have seen many healings. I've seen many demons driven out. So I've exercised my faith that I know that God is working when we trust in Him. So this exercise of our faith will increase our faith. I know that God is good. I also look at how God has changed my life, how God has done wonderful things in my life, and I'm very, very happy, and I'm very thankful. This will all increase our faith in God. And when we have faith in God, we'll see more miracles. We'll see more work of God. So when people don't have this faith, then they lose it. But when we exercise our faith, you'll experience God more. So how to have faith? When we face any difficulty, we can believe it that God is very help, happy to help us to overcome the difficulty, then we can trust in God. So how we can have stronger faith? First, we look at how God has done wonderful things in our life. So we know that He has done wonderful things. He'll do wonderful things in the future also. And also the prophecies in the Bible. God has promised those things. They came true in history. Jesus, uh, the Bible prophesied about Jesus about the destruction of Jerusalem, about the return of the Jews to, uh, to Israel. All this came true. And God has promised to bless people, to heal people. We all have heard about miracles of people being healed in Jesus' name. So we know that God is trustworthy. So we keep trusting in God even when we face difficulty. Now we all face difficulty. I have, I have faced financial difficulty in the past. And I pray to God, God, open the way, provide for me. And the money doesn't come instantly, but eventually it comes. And in the process, I keep saying, God will open the way. God will provide for me. I don't have to worry. The, the more I trust, the less I worry, the more I receive the blessings. Sometimes the help doesn't come instantly, but we still keep believing because we have seen God in work. In the past, I know that God will continue to work. Therefore, I continue trusting God. So these are ways how to build up our faith and also exercising our faith by, by doing mission work, by praying for more, for more people, by helping people, by um, telling them about Jesus and praying for sick people or praying to drive out demons. Then you can see the power of God. Then you will have more faith in God. Okay, so we encourage people to have faith by telling them God has done so many wonderful things. Have you seen? Have you done one? Have you seen the wonderful work of God? If you have seen the wonderful work of God, appreciate God, remember God's work, and then uh, trust in God and exercise your faith, and you receive more and more blessings in the future. Okay, so now we're going to have a short break, and then we'll come back. Okay. God bless you and God be with you. If you have any questions, please send it to me and uh, we'll start uh, very quickly. Okay, so uh, I, you know, just, just a few minutes, I'll uh, set up uh, the OBS again. I'm using the tool OBS to broadcast. So I'll uh, set, up, set it up again and then I'll restart. Okay, we have a short prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you, we praise you and worship you because you are a gracious God. You have grace and mercy in every areas of our life. In every area, you give us blessing. So we can look at all these blessings and remember all these blessings and we encourage people with God's grace. We encourage people by saying how God has blessed us. So we we are encouraged to obey Him. And we know that when we obey you, you bless us. And then when we disobey you, there's always destruction. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, God bless you.